Hey, let's jump into this video where I wanna talk about the best tools for online arbitrage. I'm Scott Needham, I've been a seller for a decade and have seen a lot of tools. I've built some tools as a software developer that help Amazon businesses scale their time and to be more efficient because if you're a serious online arbitrager, time is money and also your margins, you wanna squeeze every little bit of juice out of them. So I wanna jump into my favorite tools that I think can help you make the difference. So first, right off the bat, I have built a tool called Smart Scout. It is used by many online arbitragers as there's a few filters inside of it that are designed specifically for people that want to go and look for an opportunity right now. We see an opportunity on a product and you can do it. The best way to think about this is, let's take a brand like Lego. So Lego has thousands of products and at any given moment, you know, a few hundred are out of stock. And well, that's where online arbitrage comes in. You can find online products that are available and then you know flip them over to Amazon, often with a healthy markup. So we've seen uh, sellers use this for Lego and many other brands. It's the way that you use the filters to find those out of stock products that are an easy opportunity. Maybe they're not out of stock, maybe they have one or two sellers. Again, that's kind of the, the magic to Smart Scout to take huge catalogs of data and to find the best of the best opportunities. So uh, if you want to grow your gross margins with that online arbitrage, Smart Scout's great. The next tool is Keepa. Keepa is probably the number one tool that I hear people talk about. Why? Because of its history charts. So if you're watching this video and you're brand new, just try out Keeper for a little while. If you've been around for a long time, you've already heard about Keeper. you use it. So I'm not telling you anything new. So let's jump to the next one. These next tools are useful for scraping other websites like say target.com for products to sell on Amazon. This is Tactical Arbitrage and Source Mogul. They are a little tricky to use, but once you get the hang of it, they can do something that nothing else can. They could constantly check other websites and compare them to Amazon products. So if you jump in, you can create alerts and make sure that when you have a winning product, it stays a winning product for you. Really great tools. And at this point, I don't know if I have a favorite between Tactical Arbitrage and Source Mogul, but worth checking out if you're serious about online arbitrage. The next tool is IP Alert. So if you've been selling for a minute, you have found probably that sometimes some brands don't like Amazon sellers and they will file IP claims against you. What IP Alert does is it tells you what brands are likely to do that. So brands to stay away from. It's not 100% foolproof. Some brands that will claim IP won't be on the tool. Some brands that are on the tool won't actually continue making claims. It's helpful and absolutely worth part of the conversation. So the next category of tools that I recommend, we've got BuyBot Pro and we got RevSeller. These are both Chrome extensions that do a really good job of telling you the profitability so you can quickly assess what your margins will be if you are to sell this product. So they go inside of an Amazon product page and there's a few little numbers. You put your purchase price, it will calculate the FBA fee and then you'll know. So very handy and inexpensive tools to making your life a little bit easier. The next tool isn't necessarily a tool that helps you uh, find opportunities. It's kind of a category of its own. This is Rakuten. So Rakuten has this cash back where if you buy a product on a website, Often you should check Rakuten and you can make an additional one to 5% in cash back. This will be money straight to your bottom line and you know, kind of a must go to when you are talking about online arbitrage. The next tool that I think is really kind of cool, again, a category of its own, it's called BrickSeek. This is not really used a lot by online arbitrage sellers. It's, it's often used by retail arbitrage where they actually go into the store and buy it themselves. But some of these stores are now allowing you to buy inventory, buy these special deals through their website. So it's worth checking out to see if there's any additional opportunities because as you get experience with online arbitrage, you often find brands that you just know and you trust as like, 
consistent revenue opportunities. So BrickSeek is worth looking into. Now, of course, you really want to have a good repricer. Amazon's repricer, sure, it's all right, it's free, but it doesn't do a great job of maximizing your potential. I have done a lot of videos and content about repricers, but let me name a few of that stand out to me. Um, Channel Max, I've used this one for a decade, but I have done demos and tried out uh, GoAura, can I can re recommend that one, Seller Snap, and Be Cool. Each of them might have its own flavors that appeal to you. Seller Snap is the most expensive, but they throw in a whole bag of features that you might be interested in. I think at the end of the day, it's how you use a repricer that is as important as which repricer that you use. So, so pay attention, lean in, and there's probably some new things that you can do to, to save your time and save some margin with repricers. Now, inventory managers. You're not gonna be thrilled with every single inventory manager that's out there, but Restock Pro has been around for a long time. A new one that's building more and more capacity is so stocked. I would consider these when uh, looking at an inventory manager. If you find a good one, you're probably gonna be married for life. So consider one that is continuing to improve on and staying adapted to the, the changing Amazon selling environment. And also be careful, some of these can get kind of expensive. So stocked itself, I think they recently had a price increase, but it is a very powerful tool, especially if you're working with a variety of 3PLs. And then another tool that I really like that uh, helps you uh, connect your uh, profitability, and that's ConnectBooks. ConnectBooks does a few things for online arbitragers. If you find, if you have inventory and you have it at two different prices, you can enter that in to make sure that you are tracking your profits as accurate as possible. That's a very unique online arbitrage feature. So it does tell you your profitability, but it also will connect to QuickBooks, hence the name ConnectBooks. So these are just a, a few of the tools. I think that doing a demo with any of these is really worth your time because it'll save you time in the end if you really lean into tools to help your Amazon business. So after having been an Amazon seller for a decade, it is tools that has made the difference for my life. And hopefully you guys find the same value and that you get way more out than the money that, you know, they require for you to use them. If you like this video, we're gonna do a whole series of videos talking about tools. So this is a, a lot of fun uh, project that we're taking on and hopefully it helps you with your Amazon business. All right, take care.